Then I just want to show off a quick video um, of the Techno Parrot games. Now I've been playing around with Techno Parrot and it seems like um, the direct input has updated on Techno Parrot itself. So I've now configured the Techno Parrot games with two Wii controllers and that is in mode 3 instead of mode 2. So um, the buttons have been changed around slightly also. So for add coin, you would press your two button and then start would be your button one. Now, um, as you can see, I have player one on the screen there. I'm moving that cursor. And then if I just come up across and grab the other controller and press start, then you might have seen there the blue cursor just show up on the screen. Sorry for the being no sound on the monitor, there's no audio on this monitor. But as you can see there, we have the fire button working fine there, and that's player two, grenades, and then I believe the C button on the nunchuck is the flamethrower. Now that's both players working spot on. Um, I've configured most of the Techno Parrot games, the ones that actually load up through Techno Parrot itself. So we've got games like Sega Golden Gun, House of the Dead 4, Rambo, all on two players. So that's Aliens Extermination. We do have, um, I believe, Far Cry, Paradise Lost. Now that works in two players also. We have Transformers, which I've also added a fix to. I'll just load um, Let's Go Island there, 3D. So on Let's Go Island 3D, we'll have map the 3D button to the top there. And just like Mim, we do have the Add Coin and Start button. Now what I will do um, is I'll upload the update of Techno Parrot to the Google Drive. I believe it's only 200 meg. Um, so for customers that do have the update of Techno Parrot on their machines, they then just have to add this update of Techno Parrot over the um, other update of Techno Parrot. So that should have all the configurations and all the controller configs for the Wii controller kit. All you need to do is make sure it's set in mode three, and then you see both um, Wii controllers with the nunchucks plugged in. Um, to the unit before you load the game. So press start there, player two, or is that player one? It seems to have swapped player two and player one, but we'll press start there. Press start to skip. that get yourself centered in the screen and I don't know if you can see that on the screen but that blue case is moving along nicely there so as you can see blue is firing and that's working spot on we've just got to get central of the Wii bar and then if we move over to the second remote you can see there the red cursor is firing sorry for the noise i've got people just working outside the door there so as you can see that's working so let's escape that 
And then we will head to Operation Ghost. Start. Press start again and then press start on the second controller. As you can see, that big blue face is moving around, and then if I grab the other controller, that big red face is moving around. I'm not 100% sure what buttons are mapped to this, but I believe C and Z are your action, and I believe you change the volumes of it. So you have your A, which is reload, you have your B, that's fire, you have your C, that changes your gun mode, and I believe there's an action mode just underneath there, which is Z. So that's in single shot mode, and then we have burst mode. And so on and so on. So quit that game. I'll not load Rambo because it takes so long to load. And um, let's head down. I do have to remove great race driver from this because custom I did want Mortal Kombat 11 on there. Um we'll not load Rambo. Um, also, what I'll do is I'll head to Transformers there. Go on to Transformers. Now I have now fixed the um, Transformers game to add credits. Now it will add credits into the system. Um, and you do have to set your credits to, I believe, your test mode or your test button. I'm not sure. I'll take a look at that in a second. But um, like I say, you've got to remap your button to another, instead of your coin button, it's got to be mapped to another button. So let's press start. So we'll have player one there moving around on the screen. If I add coins, that will add another coin and it knocks it back up to 24. Come over to the second control, press start. As you can see, that's now on the screen. Um, the coin is only player one. So you'd to add more credits you'd have to press player one control and then as you can see there that's moving around nicely on the screen and then move over to first player and there we go so i'll quit out with that and um what i want customers to do also and um, that's a fix i've got a patch as well before this unit goes off um, sometimes goes into a smaller screen I think it's due to the resolution of the game and then when it exits it doesn't exit correctly and it doesn't restore the resolution but I do have a fix for that now just quickly go in so alt and F4 out of type of spin control alt delete and then we'll head into task manager and from task manager we'll go to file run new task explorer.exe okay right and then if we're heading to techno parrot update on the desktop we do have um transformers there if i just had to take a quick look into controller settings now it is service one so service two may actually add credits to the second on the second controller i will check that out but service one is your credit button not your coin button on there and um, i do have it mapped to coin as well but um service button now that's fine and that's it and um, what i want us to do is go to the link below in the description download the new techno parrot update then you want to um, stick that update onto a usb stick and then we'll head into d drive arcade 
and down. then to emulate us and then scroll all the way down where you see techno parrot i believe update now i will make the folder techno parrot update so it'd be the matter of dragging it from the usb straight into that folder there and then that will update for your techno parrot update settings now i will also leave a um a code in the link below as well so for in rocket launcher if you don't have the techno parrot update on your system what i will do is i will add this um code so if we just go into techno parrot so we'll go into rocket launcher find techno parrot click on the modules click on pc launcher auto hotkey and then you want to go up next to that green and um, box with a white thumb thumbs up go is edit system specific module settings click on that now if we take a look in aliens extermination if we just put the description click on description and we'll put everything in alphabetical order now i will put this um, application link here in the description as well this is emulators techno parrot update techno parrot ui now if you've got the older techno parrot you um, games like house of the dead 4 um, rambo transformer stuff like that will need this code in so it will need that um piece of text there copied and pasted into the application bar so if we head down to let's take a look far cry paradise lost that would be the same um you'd you'd just delete the previous out and paste in the new one and then head down to let's go island 3d and let's go island doesn't need to be on there, the lgi one just let's go island 3d and let's go jungle and um, let's go jungle special and let's go jungle island like i say it doesn't really need to be on there and um, so you will change let's go island 3d to that same so it'd be emulate as techno parrot update techno parrot ui.ac so you'd paste that into there then you'd paste it into jungle and then you'd head down to operation ghost you would do the same there as well and um, you'd head down to rambo you would paste it in rambo as well and then you would head down to say the golden gun you would also paste it in say the golden gun and then you would head down to how the house of the dead four paste it in application as well there and then down to transformers now don't paste it into um time crisis 5 or lost land if lost land is working for you i've i've, I've had it playing up the past few days and um, so i've deleted it off the other system but i've been checking it and it works on one or two systems but for some reason it's not working on others i don't know what's going on there and um, so i just recommend removing it until i properly fix the game then um, try like i say paste it into transformers don't paste it into games like time crisis 5 and i believe um sega dream riders because sega dream riders works better on the older techno parrot than it does on the new one the updated version so that's all pasted in i'll just change that there to game plus application as well for transformers so hopefully that will solve that closing down issue um, and then i'll just rerun hyperspin i do recommend just sign out sign back in or sh shut down or restart the machine but don't ever turn off the machine and um, when you turn the machine on leave the rebar itself on it just solves any issues of the pack swapping anything like that so i'll get these this video uploaded and um, that link put down below so like share subscribe to the videos hit that notification bell and i will see you later bye